So following the release of the original ITI Parametric, which was a three-band, two-shelf stereo rack mount device, I took it around to sell it. I took it to two studios in New York, to uh, Vanguard, to John Warham, and to the record plant. Dropped it off and um, explained a little bit about what it did, and they liked it very much. And then I moved to Paris, and uh, in my uh, duffel bag, I carried four more of the three-band console mount parametric called the 130. And uh, I went to work for Gerhard Lehner of Barclay Records and sold him four of these little parametrics that went in his Neve console, his newly purchased Neve console, which was installed in Studio A of Barclay Records on Avenue Auche in uh, Paris. And uh, went to work in France for a couple of years. In the meantime, uh, ITI continues to sell these units, has a mastering version, and... Uh, clients abound. Uh, to make a long story short, over the next few years between ITI and Sontech, it's also my company, and GML, uh, we've sold to everybody all over the world. And the design itself, which was never proprietary, the design itself has been used by everybody. It's in virtually every recording console manufactured today. Virtually every piece of outboard gear the basic design is a part of any number of digital plugins, digital processors, digital pieces of gear. The idea of the parametric equalizer over the years remains unchanged. Its basic idea is to continuously vary the frequency of a peak, the size of a peak, whether it's a peak or a dip, and the cue of a peak or a dip, or the sharpness of a peak or a dip. That remains unchanged. GML was organized in 1982, October of 1982, in Los Angeles, California, to build a much better version of the GML parametric based on the experience that we'd had at ITI with units falling apart and the experience that our customers had at Sontech with a uh, continual failures in the electronics. The GML 8200 uh, has been in manufacture more or less since 1982. Uh, some things have changed. The, uh, these switches have gone from toggle switches to push buttons. And we've uh, continually updated the, the internal parts, the, the basic core parts, transistors, and capacitors, power supplies. Uh, to keep up with the times. But the basic 8200, which I use every day, is a stereo five-band unit, each band having a parametric function over uh, three ranges, and the top and bottom bands having the ability to switch to uh, shelves. The um, strength of this unit, the great strength of this unit, is its transparency. Many of you and I have used uh, equalizers that are less than transparent, microphone preamplifiers that are less than transparent. But we own this. Transparency, this is the transparent equalizer in the analog domain. Uh, and the reason I like transparent is because I want to hear, for the purposes of my recording, I want to hear through the layers of technology to a musical performance. I want to hear a musical performance. And this lets me do it.